Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm just going to be doing my 20th birthday get ready with me. It's just this makeup look here. Super simple, super easy. If you want to get ready with me for my 20th birthday, then please keep watching. I don't need much to talk about. However, I will be trying out the new P. Louise stuff that I got in my mystery box um, and what I ordered. I was going to do a separate video on it but there's honestly no point um, because I'm not going to have time to film over the next couple of days because I'm back to working full time for a little bit. So yeah, I think we're just going to get on with the video. So to start off, I'm going to be using my P. Louise Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Hazelnut Latte. So I've been trying this and at first I thought it was too dark for me but now I think it's actually okay once I don't go heavy handed with it. Also, usually people get dressed up on their birthday. Let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a Zara bodysuit and joggers. So, happy 20th birthday to me. I just, I don't like celebrating birthdays. Birthday's just not for me. I don't like celebrating. I don't like doing anything. So, being in joggers, is perfect for me so i'm being really bougie today and i'm going in with a load of products to make my skin usually on a normal day i wouldn't do this but because it's my birthday i'm like as many products as possible so i'm gonna go in with the milk hydro grip primer this is my ultimate favorite primer and i honestly don't think i'll ever use another primer I love this one so much. I do need to find a really good pore fill and primary and I haven't found one yet. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know because I really want to invest. So next for more primer, I'm going to go in with the MAC Show Cream. I think everyone needs it in their lives. It's such a good product. Honestly, 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend. For foundation, it would not be my birthday if I did not use this product. It is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Stromboli. Now this is actually going to be too dark for me. I'm just going to start blending this into my skin. So I've actually news for people um, that are interested in knowing about like my life. Um, I have left college. Um, I've left college. I've left my law degree um which maybe has shocked some people it was definitely shocked my family yeah i've left college i made the decision before i finished this year just because i didn't want to drag it on any longer than i already was dragging it on but yeah i've left college i've decided not to complete my law degree um it wasn't for me like being honest I like I was good at it but being good at something and loving something are two completely different things like the day I left actually I got another um assignment result back and I got 90% the day I left and I was like <sighs> what am I doing but I just stuck to my gut instinct and I decided that a law degree is not for me I will be going back to college but not actually uni not actually college college like I won't be getting a normal degree Um, I have decided very fitting for this video to um actually go into makeup and to train to become a makeup artist and you're probably thinking Leah why because your face doesn't even match your neck and you can't even do that I promise it'll work out in the end if anyone knows like makeup has been my life for years um ever since i started dancing it has been literally my life like i love makeup so much and doing it as a job will be something i would love to do um so that means i can bring more tutorials and more makeup content to you because I'll be obviously practicing at home, but I might as well film what I'm practicing. So it won't be happening until October of next year slash September. And I can't wait to see where it takes me. I think if you're not happy where you are in life, change it. 
So next up for concealer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I love this concealer. If you have not tried this concealer, you really need to. It's very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape, but it's just a little bit more hydrating. A tiny bit less coverage, but like, see how much I put on now? You cannot put on that much with Tarte Shape Tape, but because this is a more hydrating formula, slather it on. So I'm just patting out this. I'm not swirling it. I'm not rubbing it. I'm literally just patting this into my skin. I don't know what makeup look I'm going to go for today. As in, I make a look. Because I have the P. Louise bases that I got in my MSG box, but I'm not comfortable with them yet. And on my birthday, I don't, really don't want to mess up my makeup. So I feel like it's just going to be a simple eye look using the Stacey Marie Be Perfect Carnival palette. No? Carnival XL Pro palette. I'm just gonna go back over with my foundation. Oh. I'm just gonna go back over with my foundation brush over the edges of where I put everything just so it blends in perfectly. I don't want any marks. So next I'm gonna go in with a product I have not used in the longest time. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. As you can see, very dirty. Um it just looks like this mine is on its last leg i have not used this in ages but i saw nicole using it in a recent youtube video so thanks nicole this is for you i'm gonna use the beauty blender i know nicole used it with a beauty blender so we're gonna try it i honestly have not used this with a beauty blender ever so we're gonna give it a go this is actually such a nice cream contour if you want something that is literally so subtle but yeah effective like it is such a good cream contour product i'm just gonna set my face i'm gonna use a huda beauty easy bake loose setting powder um this is in the shade sugar cookie Look how airbrushed that powder makes you. I absolutely love this powder. The only thing is, is it is quite drying. But it's the only powder I found that I actually like. Okay, now that that's set, I actually am going to set the rest of my face. I saw Nicole do this. And I usually don't set the rest of my face. But I'm going to be wearing a mask today. Maybe, potentially. So I am going to set the rest of my face today just so my makeup holds up a little bit longer but it still has that glow because of the primer that we used as in the MAC Stroke Cream but also because of the foundation that we used. Meredith has the best foundations in the world, honestly. I'm now going to prep my eyes with the Louise base in the shade Rimmer 2 and I'm also going to use the... The 707 one devoted to my base brush. So I think I'm going to go in with my Be Perfect Carnival palette. And I think I'm going to put this shade here, which is basic through my crease. So I'm switching brushes because that was actually hurting my eyes. So I'm going to go in with a blank canvas E25. And it's a double ended brush. I'm going to take the black side. Okay, so now that I have that shade in my crease, I'm then going to just take the shade underneath it, which is Hall. And I'm just going to put that in like the outer corner and blend it in again. And to do that, I'm going to take a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush. I'm just going black back in with the brush I was using to begin with just to diffuse that out 
I'm not gonna go any darker just because I don't want to. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my P. Louise base. We're gonna do like the tiniest, littlest, messiest half cut crease, just because I do want a little bit of something, but I don't want too much, if you get me. And I'm gonna take the Acid Rain brush, just cause it's the first one that I saw. And I'm just going to start pressing this on my lid and kind of creating a crease. I tried on the tracksuit from my last video. Guys, order a size up. I'm usually an extra small, so I ordered a small. I would have needed a medium. Like, I'm not kidding you. This thing was so tight on me that I couldn't move. I couldn't move. Like, I'm not kidding you. I sent the girls a video and my ass... Where was it? Don't know. Literally could not find it. Like, honestly, go up a size. I'm gonna order, if ever I order another mystery box, I'm gonna order a medium. Because, literally, my ass was non-existent. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm thinking I'm gonna put my highlighter on my eyes. Just because I don't really want any of the shades in this palette on my eyes. I'm actually gonna use my Mary Luminizer by The Balm to push... The shadow on i think i'm gonna use this because i want something kind of light that will stand out but i don't want glitter actually just a really simple glitter on the eyes i'm gonna come back to my eyes in a minute but i'm gonna go back onto my face I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise brow gel and this is again in the shade hazelnut latte. I really really like this brow gel. It is very pigmented so I do try and go light handed like as you can see it's quite dark. So now I'm gonna bronze my face up and I'm gonna use the MAC mineralized skin finish in the shade dark. This product is my holy grail for when I'm tanned. It is such a nice olivey colour as opposed to Mac Give Me Sun which is more like an orange undertone. And I'm gonna take that on a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH04. Guys, would I attempt contouring my nose today? Can I do a sure pack it? So I'm gonna go in with this. I know this isn't really a contour shade but We'll try it. One line. Second line. Tip. And then just blend it out. Okay, so bronzer done. I don't want to put on too much bronzer so I don't look orange. Now I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills X Amorese highlighter. This is what the highlighter looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I only use it on special occasions because it was limited edition and you cannot get it anymore. So I only bring it out when it's like a special occasion so say like christmas or my birthday sorry my eyes are really itchy um for like yeah christmas or my birthday so it's my birthday so we're gonna use it so i'm gonna take it on a blank canvas f28 brush honestly this is my this is my favorite highlighter of all time if she brings it out again i'm stocking up on about five of them because i never want to run out of this highlighter in my entire life Take my nose. I'm gonna go in the corners of my eyeballs. I'm gonna go brow bone today. Oh. So back to my brow situation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a random spoolie. And just brush through them again just so any excess product goes on spoolie 
Do I do this or white? I think I'm gonna go for the white. So I'm gonna use the P. Louise Fresh Ink in the shade Rewhite. I'm just gonna take it on that brush and pop it in my waterline. Okay, so the white is now in my waterline and it does look scary, but when I put on my lower shadow, it's gonna look a little bit more normal. So to do my lower lash line, I'm gonna go back into shade Basic and this is a blank canvas E87. And I'm just going to run that all the way underneath and then i'm now going to take a small brush like this and i'm going to go in shade hall and i'm just going to put that a lot closer to my lash line and then i'm going to go back in with that original brush and i'm just going to buff that out like so now, I'm not going to put on lashes today. I just don't think it's necessary. So I'm just going to take my curlers, curl my lashes, pop on mascara, and then I'll be back. Okay, I just popped on mascara. And now all I've left to do is my lips. So for my lips, I'm going to use the P. Louise lip kit that I got. This is in the shade Boarding Pass, by the way. So this is the P. Louise lip liner, and this one is in the shade Achievement. So I'm just going to line my lips with that, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've lined the outside of my lips. I don't want to line the inside of my lips just because I want an ombre effect. And now I'm going to go in with the P. Louise lipstick in the shade Heights. That's what the lip kit looks like. Now, you could leave it at that. I'm not going to just because I prefer to have a glossy lip than a matte lip. I'm going to take the Morphe gloss in the shade Chill and just pop this in the center of my lips. So this is the makeup look. It's my 20th birthday makeup look. It's just super glowy, super chill. I don't put on bottom lash mascara just because I feel like it closes my eyes. But this is the makeup look. I'm now gonna do my hair and then I'll be back to you to finish off this okay guys so i've just finished doing my hair i literally just straightened it but yeah this is my 20th birthday get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe make sure you press that notification bell just so you get a notification every time i upload and i will see you guys in my next video but i hope you guys had an amazing christmas or have an amazing christmas depending on when you are watching this and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much again for 70 subscribers. Um, I really, really appreciate it. But yeah, no longer a teenager. Weird. Weird. Because all I want to do is spend this holiday with you tomorrow.